G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. So our second session of our little Cania trip. Done the uh, the, the one day at Waruma. We've had a cracking morning session fishing those school bass so far. Now we've come back up the back of the dam. Still here with Dave Young. He's already got the jig rod out working this rock wall. Gonna do some jig fishing now. See what this midday bite brings. And hopefully this afternoon, a bit of surface action. Try and get a toga. I'm long overdue for a toga, so. It's hot, conditions, it's, yeah, it's a bit of wind. Not too bad at the back here, but yeah, fishing's great. It's on fire, so yeah, here we go. So we're on the jigs. We've had that crack in morning. Change of scenery. See if we can replicate what happened at Waruma. Rusty. There we go. Nice jig eat. Good one? Yeah, feels right. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Better than those bloody schooled fish. Here we need him. Don't want to lose him. I'll get the net. Yeah, man. That's a better one. See how tight he was though? Yep. That was like second or third. Pick up. That's awesome. So obviously we've come up the back of the dam now, finished fishing those schooled fish. I've gone to the Mollix um, Kento jig there and a half ounce with a little uh, SV craw trailer on there. Pitch this one in nice and close to the rock walls there and about second or third contact with the jiggy. Picked it up, so I'm off with it. Got a nice hook set and that's probably a nice kilo, 1.2, 1.3 kilo fish. So a nice quality fish that one. I'll get one on this and then I'll put on a half ounce and a fucking and a proper chunky trailer. something and I'll play the game. Yep. Yep. Oh what? Oh really? I got railed into that dude. That took drag. Like that's yeah, so you're on the wrong side of it. And just into it. Never got a good hook set as it hooked it rubbed and yeah. and same spot as you just got that one. Dude! <laughs> I drove it once he was pulling and it's pulled out, it's been driven. Got him. Like that, mate. Like a bought one. That's him. Cheers, eh? Good, mate. 995. Crow's factory. Oh, no, what are they? Yeah, they're 10 bucks each, aren't they? Yeah. Not bad, they're in the same thing, eh? Oh, I choked him. I rushed that hardcore. I was trigger happy. I looked up at you and felt a tick. He's back. You got it? Yep. Payback. Not huge, but yeah. Not bad. Thanks for giving me a second chance, buddy. <laughs> Got a big body, no belly on it. Yeah. Mate, I'm just wetting where you're gonna sit. I don't wanna get all bloody hot and sunburn out here. Stay still. All right, now I'll change my jig. All right, there's my first candy damn jig bass of the trip. Oh man, he's shredded that leader. That's all scuffed up. Choked it, he gave me a second chance. Got a little tap, but he missed him. He come back though. That's just on that lose, Mark Crush one. It's my TP1 black. Nice little jig combo. And young, he's finally convinced me to get out of my comfort zone. You know, like I always throw that 3 8 I always put a gold bloody crabby on the back of that thing. These walls, you know, and the wind, I'm gonna you know, beef it up, go to a half ounce jig, and I'm gonna go like a standard craw trailer. So we'll see how we go with that. That's a good start. Oh, 
Look at that leader. Yeah, Shredded. Right. When he did that, I've got no idea. Grey something. Yeah. All right, some of Youngie's secret sauce. 20 year old tube of Mega Strike. It's a half ounce Pro's Factory football head with a chunk trailer. See how we go. Yep. Yep. Oh! Off with that. Dude! There you go, mate. That's just unfortunate. Like that was clunk, yeah. set, run. Goes to show. <laughs> Damn. He was out of there, that Man, didn't he carve? No, I didn't take long to get a bite without a gulp, but that's good. Yeah. Look at that chafage there. Took it over something. Yep. That's what must be what sort of gives them that bit to flick it, eh? Yeah. Like you feel like that was a pretty good hook set, but yeah. gets that little bit of leverage or twist off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I put 20 on. He was out of there. That fish wouldn't be sitting any more than eight foot of water, I reckon. Yep. Like it's only 15 foot here. Yep. He's just reaching along that bank. Yeah, you know, and everything else tells us back in the day, you'd be like, sun's up, they moved off the banks. That's right, direct sunlight, there's no shade, there's no weed, there's no trees. He's just there on a, on a like, 13 foot here. So yeah. he's in a rod depth of water. He would have been next to a rock or a log or something yeah, down there, but... So. Does that frog know something we don't know? Yeah, they used to use that. That was their original barometer. It was a pet frog in like a cylindrical or a vertical skinny type of enclosure with its water and you know, like a ladder or something it can climb. And they reckon when it climbed to the top, high barometer. When it sat down the bottom, low barometer. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact for the day. Yeah, we're gonna put all our trust in the fucking <laughs> frog reptile. <laughs> oh, get on. that is two foot of water over there. Did you miss him, Raya? No, I didn't. He's like, dunk. I was like. That's a fish cut. Yep. Ooh, wouldn't it? Don't fool me that time, buddy. There's something stuck on him. I don't know, it's a marking. That's cool, he's got bloody pinstriping. Not the beard. There we go. First bass in the jig after lunch. Look at that mad marking he's got down the side there. Some crazy pattern thing going on. That's cool. Just on that half ounce OP with that chunk trailer. Just a bit of scent. I'm slowly getting away from having to use gold crabbies. Just like pigmentation in the skin, eh? There's nothing yeah. wrong with it. He has no. to, he's still got scales and everything there. It's just mad pattern. It could be like a fucking, it might be like a fungi or something actually, looking at it. But it's nothing, it's not hurting him. No. Nah. He's not suffering. There's one fish there, there's got to be another one, two, three there. You think so? I think so. I don't see why not. That camera was rolling, it's a good thing. Got him. Choked it. 
Yeah. You weren't missing that one. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Jig eater. He's actually got a craw in him. Or part of. Yeah, that bit of it's red a... red shrimpiness down there. He's eating them. Yeah, definitely, man. That's a fraud I had for sure. Cheers, Bray. It's a no frills guarantee. Do whatever you want. Oh, oh, oh. I choked that. He's got it. No. Yep. Yep. Bloody hell, he gave me enough chances. <laughs> you right now, buddy? Got that out of you? Oh, doubles. Jig doubles. Yes. Hey, that's not bad. Points point to fish, they reckon. Jig doubles. We'll take those. Pigeon pair, isn't it? Actually not bad. Oh, he was, yeah, yeah, a bit of a pigeon pair. Yeah, boy. All right, jig doubles. Nice. Cheers. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Wee. Oh, don't floor. get a spike in you. Yeah, that'll be just what we need. Took all of this. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Doubles. Oh, big fish, man. Yeah. This one's big. Good one, youngie. That's a fish cutter. Seriously. Yep. I'm oh, dude. Like serious. Yeah, I'm seriously watching it, man. It's loaded. Oh, big yellow gut. <laughs> Just after you said that. That was a psycho bite, too. Broke me net. Oh, he's jammed his head through it. What are you doing, man? It's not me. That's your bloody fish going in there. Uh, I'll throw this thing back and I'll film that one, eh? It's right inside the face. Look at that compared to that. <laughs> It was still a simultaneous hookup. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, big old yeller. Pretty poor hook set. I, he was playing around with it. I wasn't too sure whether he had it, so I just swung. And obviously not the best hook set, but I got him in the face and I got him. He's probably a nice yeller. So put up a pretty good fight actually for a yeller. Not notorious for their big hearts and good fight, but that was pretty um, pretty impressive. Happy with that. So. <laughs> yeah, right. I got a bit of that. <laughs> the money bank. Mm -hmm. Called it. You did. Cut the swings on here. We're going blow for blow this time around. Double, double. I think I've still missed at least four, I reckon. Yeah. Cut up the timber on one here before, so. Yeah, I missed those two good ones on that first stop. That's the thing with it. If you were good enough to convert them, then yeah, it's pretty good technique. But... I don't think there's one technique that does though, really. Even those spoons, they drop off, they tap. And... Yeah. It's funny, if you get a hook in them, they don't get off. It's more, it's more like getting the hook in them. Yeah. They got it, they're playing with it, you know, you yeah. can interpret a bite from a spit out, you know. Yeah. Oh, dude. 
wider again. Uh, he's alright though. Equalizer. Yeah, it's the five. Yeah, five a piece right. on the jigs. Hey, you've got fish. no condition on him though. No. Nah. He's a better size fish. That's it, number five. Five all on the jigs. Let's turn into a nice little jig bite here at Cania too. We'll take him. Yeah, bud. Oh. Oh, I choked it, man. I was tucking in the fluffy bit of shit on my buff. Had the hand off the reel. Cad. Don't take your hand off the reel, youngie. Pay attention to detail. Don't be a rookie. See if he wants another shot at the title. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, that's that. I thought, oh, it was such a definitive bite, I thought I'm not even going to feel if you're there. That was just like swing. Yeah. Those other ones, you feel the bite and you're like, oh, I'll wind back down and see if he's there. And he's like, spits it yeah. out. That was just like, twang on the bottom. I'm like, yeah, he's just good with that. Another swing in the mid. Oh, there we go. You must think it's his lucky day when that core comes back into his head. <laughs> He's alright. Pumping a good bloody boil there. He's alright. <laughs> Jig eater. Gave you a second chance, that guy. Yeah, messed him up the first time. That was a better hook set, that one. Yeah, he's a healthy fish, that one. Got a bit of condition on him. Yeah. Takes the lead. Oh, oh no. 6-5. 6-5, five, indeed. 6-5, five, five all back. Nah, it's still jig eats. The Kento jig. Kento. All right, Kent. What did I say about this rock hole? It's good for five. Yeah, you said there's a few on here. Put it hard on there. Still goes. Oh, he's over it. Oh, busted ya. On the rock. <sighs> that, uh Mother, he just shredded Brady, man. Like, that must have been 20 foot down, and that thing just. Yeah. Damn it! Yep. Yeah, I got him. Nice. It's a best. There you go. As you can see, I went back to that gulp pulse crawl. I had to play with those Stocko Placky trailers and Youngie got a, a bass up on me, so I resorted back to my old ways and threw out the stinky bit of gulp. 
but I, as long as we're catching, I'm happy. He had a sniff and a lick, that guy. Yeah, he's all right, eh? Yeah, I'll pay that. There you go, nice bass. Like I was saying, went back to that crabby, 3 8 motion. That's that lose mark crush one, that 7.5 to 1 gear ratio. And uh, my TP1 black, it's a 7 foot. 10 to 20 pound moderate fast rod. Yeah man, sets the hooks good on those those jig pigs. Pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, jig Sweet, bro. bloody session. Those pulse crawls at least compared to the crabby, like you get a bit more out of those claws. And then they're a longer bait, so you can get a bit more of an actual trailer as opposed to this thing being hidden in the skirt. Yeah. It was a good run. Oh, come back. Oh! Cheeky bastard. He come back. I just hit him too quick, I think. Yep. You all right, mate? Another nice bass off his rock wall. Oh, got him out here. There's that trailer, followed it out. One more on the Kento. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh! <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's so cool, man. Yeah, you wanted it. Another little jig eater. Epic, man. <laughs> yeah. Good one, are y'all? Dorsal raise, click and twist. See you, tag. Good 
I wasn't sure. It's good fishing. Yep, I'm gonna have a double here. Oh, I didn't strike hard enough, he was swimming out. Oh, he's eating it. Eat it. So good, good bass. Hello. With a bow mount. Got him on a tight string, this one. Ah, he's a fatty. Not bad at all. The Kento jig getting bit, Sabo. Holy shit, did you just throw that over and get railed? Oh, I was getting rattled too. Yep. Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, they're biting. You're done, sir. Thanks for coming. Oh, and he's in. Right. No, nah, he's in. He's going further. Oh, you knocked him out, youngie. You got him. Yeah, the fish is still there. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. There you go. Probably going to be my last bass of the afternoon. This thing had me stitched up so good. Got to get the tackle back down there. Just kept that gentle pressure on him, didn't go hard. You can see my leader's got a bit of damage there, but slow and steady wins the race. What a day though, top it off with something like that. That's crazy. Off you go, buddy. Nothing to do with, buddy. Skill or technique. Something like that. Oh, he's over it. Oh, bastard, yeah.